Sri Lanka is the pearl of the Indian Ocean, a former colony of the Netherlands. On this predominantly Buddhistic island, the elephants are being revered as a holy being. Throughout the centuries, the villagers and Asian Ceylon elephants lived peacefully together, based on mutual understanding. Only the male elephants have tusks. Ceylon elephants are being recognized by their dark skin, illustrating a lot of depigmentation, small ears and a long tail. The heaviest living mammal on land may be fierce, but it is strong and helpful. In the past, the elephant has been frequently used as a work animal. That's why people forgive him for so many things. However, the relationship between human and elephant has been disrupted over the last century. Sri Lanka counts 20.3 million inhabitants and the population continues to grow. The three and a half million farmers need more and more land to expand the paddy fields. Therefore, the habitat of the elephants is shrinking. There can be only one conqueror in the battle for the country. The Asian elephant has to compete with the growing population of Sri Lanka. Therefore, it's facing a battle against the local farmers, also known as the human-elephant conflict. The conflict causes casualties on both sides. In the past year, 56 people died and nearly 200 elephants were killed. A century ago, 40,000 elephants lived in Sri Lanka. At this point, there are about 4,000 left. Help the elephant by helping the local people. That's the credo of elephant expert Mario Hudemaka and Sri Lankan veterinarian Dr. Vita Pereira. They are trying to find solutions together with the Sri Lankan people. They are doing everything they can to protect the once rampant elephant population which is decreased to a small group to keep them from extinction. Between the hills and the southeast of Sri Lanka, you can find nature reserve Udawalau. This is the habitat of the wild elephant. They live in freedom together with so many other Asian animal species. The approximately 500 elephants reside in an area of 32,000 hectares which is equivalent to about 48,000 football fields. They form herds from 3 to 40 females and young elephants. Bulls, the male elephants, have to leave the herd once they become interested in the females. Incest is not tolerated, therefore they get mercilessly thrown out of the group. Bulls are solitary or roam in small groups. The flock's oldest female is the matriarch. She is the one to lead the group and take it to areas which are rich in food and water holes. For most of the day, they eat from abandoned teak plantations, scrubs and grassland. They are real connoisseurs and use the trunk with utter precision. In order to eat clean grass, he knocks the dirt off against his foot. Elephant expert Mario Hudemarka still enjoys to behold such scenes. He has nearly 55 years of experienced leadership at the Amersfoort Zoo. As a retired expert, he's asked for advice and support globally in the fight for preservation of elephants. His career as an elephant keeper began when he was 15. My life long have I a fascination for the relationship mens dier En dat, uh, en dat had ik al vroeger als klein kind. Uh, we hadden, mijn ouders die hadden een bakkerij in Arnhem. En toen kwam ik op een gegeven moment, nou ja, dan zijn we via mijn vader in Burgers Dierenpark terecht. En daar waren we een keer brood aan het lossen. En er gaat een deur open en er komt een meneer met een alpinopetje binnen en een overal. En er liepen een paar olifanten achteraan. En ik vond dat zo ongelooflijk fascinerend. Ik zeg tegen mijn vader, ik zou wel olifanten oppassen worden. 
Maar ja, wat was in 50 jaar, 55 jaar geleden olifanten oppassen? Een heleboel poep opruimen en, en verder was dat geen beroep. Hij zei, je moet een fatsoenlijk vak leren, jongen. Nou, dat is natuurlijk ja, wel gebeurd. But the passionate elephant expert is not alone in his mission. Veterinarian Dr. Vita Pereira, who is leading the team of the Elephant Transit Home, emphasizes the slogan, elephants belong to the wild. Because you are going wild and the animals are not your friends. They are not enemy, but same time they are not friends. Because they always live with the fear, because they have no good uh, attitude about the human. Because in our case, we always make trouble to them. Vita and Mayo received an emergency call. There is a threatening situation in the Udawalao National Park. According to the rangers, many elephants in the nature reserve are very agitated because an elephant mother in the wilderness is in critical condition. The elephant mother needs urgent care, but this is no easy task when a young elephant is completely panicked because her mother lies on the ground, sick and on the brink of death. Vita wants to administer medication like moisture and tonics to get the elephant mother on her feet again as soon as possible. However, the team must be aware of danger lurking around the corner. So kleintje, we, we zien die kleine olifantjes ook in de elephant transit home en dan zijn ze ontzettend uh, aanhankelijk en gezellig. Maar dit uh, kleine ding dat kan je vierkant ondersteboven gooien. Hoor. Elephants are intelligent and social herd animals who are alerted by the panic of other elephants. They can be miles away and still communicate with each other by making low sounds that are not audible by humans. The noise and fear of the baby elephant is a sign for them to come and rescue him. Because of the strange circumstances in the presence of a group of active people, who give out all kinds of scents and smells. The elephants are alarmed in their habitat. They are ready to attack at just a few meters away. The situation is anything but safe. Mission accomplished. The calf is still very panicked because he sees his mother laying exhausted on the ground with strangers who pull on her, is attached to a tree. Vita can finally administer antibiotics. At this point, it is important that the little one remains calm and transportation comes rapidly. Everyone remains alert of the bulls in the thicket. Despite everything, the men continue. The danger seems to have passed, but time is pressing. The men quickly proceed to administer medicines. Although the team mainly consists of peaceful Buddhists, the men do have guns as a deterrent and last resort. Waar het om gaat in dit geval, dat ze hem op de juiste manier en op het juiste moment afschrikken. Op het moment dat de olifant in de aanval is, dan laat hij zich verdomd moeilijk stoppen hoor. Maar het is juist op het moment dat je dat oversprongedrag hebt, zal ik mijn familie gaan helpen, uh, zal ik aanvallen. En op dat moment van twijfeling, dan is het het moment, en dat, uh, dat schatten de dierenarts ook heel goed in, dat hij nog zo van, misschien blijft hij een paar minuten zo links en rechts zoeken. En net voordat hij dan... Tot de aanval zou overgaan, dan even een schot in de lucht en wat hem inderdaad dan even van streek maakt en in ieder geval weer terug de jungle in gaat. Maar dat neemt niet weg dat in mijn ogen die mannen in ieder geval hier toch met een stukje ware doodsverachting uh, staan te werken hoor. Dat moet je verdomd niet onderschatten.
even we got lot of experience with narrow escapes and uh, like that things so risk is always there even from snakes and every kind of things can be happen from accidents yeah while the men try everything to keep the elephant alive the farmers in the village nearby have mixed feelings about these animals and the elephants are not keen on cows and buffaloes who are their food competitors many farmers keep buffaloes that they bring to the elephant's habitat to graze so competition for food is fierce ali pas denek ka ho hamadam ino ehem ali pas denek ka o pahak ka ඊට පස්සේ මේක ගහලි වල මේ පල්ලේ හා ගියා අලි ටික ඔක්කොම. ඒ යනකොට ඉතින් අපි බෙහෙල්ලකොට මේ ඔක්කොම කුඩු කොල්ලා මේ පාරේ ඉතින් කරන්න දෙයක් නැහැ අපි උඩ පැයට වෙලාම හිටියා. ඔය ලියා ගියේ නැහැ එලි වෙනකම් හිටියා මේ පැත්ත කකා ඔක්කොම. ඇහැදිලා අරේ මේ වෙලා ඉවෙල්ලා ගෙදර ගියා මේ දැන් දවස් දෙකකට වැඩිය නැහැ පිටක් කරලා මේ ගෙදර. ඉතින් තරහ ගිහිල අපි ගැහුවා උන්ටත් තරහ යන උන්ටත් තරහ ගිහිල උනුත් එනවා අපි පාලෙන් අපි එක්කම මේ වෙන්නේ. මාසියත් නැහැ තව එකක් අපි මින්ද කී පතර අපි මරලා යන්න ඉඩ තියෙනවා. එන අඩිසත් දෙහෙන්නේ නේ. අලි එනකොට අඩිසත් දෙහෙන්නේ. සෑහෙන වයිරයක් තියෙනුගේ. ඉතින් දාස හිමිට කිව්වා පමණක් අලි ඉන්නවා හිමිට හොඳින් කිව්වාම යනවා. හොඳින් කිව්වාම අහනවා ඒගොල්ලන්. අනික් කට්ටිය හොඳින් කිව්වට අහන්න නැහැ. අයියෙන් විලාප තියෙනකොට ඒගොල්ලන් කොළප්ප වෙලා එනවා. පමණක් අලි හිමිට කිව්වම බහ දෙන තු පාඩු කියනවා. අර තනි එකයි තුන් දෙනයි තමයි අන්තිම බය. උන් එළවන්න බය මොන විදිහට ඔක්කොම. The chance that they'll listen isn't that big because elephants are real opportunists. They go for the best and easiest snacks. An adult elephant consumes around 2 to 300 kilos of food a day. Nothing will stop them from eating their fill even if that means walking a little bit further for it. Me me he indala ali aawa avil wala me 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 tika me hem me hem kala gahu me hem kala gahu am paara kaduna ita pas me adala gatta hondi me hem kaawa ita pas ohan avil wala me he giya yanne metene ali anita ali ara patten aawa ya patten wala e patter gahu bitti dahagila me me tika makka dikka me hem adala gatte hal mutti bayak tiyena lamain ta tuna hadila tiyenne ona me me baya hadili wella mata tene thamai Many villagers use fireworks to chase the elephants away. The disadvantage is that they become aggressive, which is not their natural behavior. Because of their excellent memory, they will not forget a bad experience with a human. The elephant will never turn his back to you because he knows humans shoot at him and throw firecrackers. The newest weapon that some farmers use in desperation is to put explosives in pumpkins. You can imagine what happens when the elephant consumes it. His whole mouth is blown out. Some farmers think that's beyond their limits and search for other solutions. <laughs> ගැහුවා අර සද්දෙර දුවනෝ ටිකක් දුර. ඉවර බන්. මෙහෙම බලන් ඉන්නෝ. හැරිලා. ආපහු වෙන්න. දාද මොකින් හරි උඩ වෙහෙ එක්කන බයි ඊට පස්සෙන් දැත් එනවා. පලිය ගන්න. එහෙනම් මුර කර ගන්න කහේ කාලය යනවා නැලි. උඩ ඉඳලා අලි එනකොට පන්දන් තියෙන්නේ. පන්දන් අරගෙන ගහනවා. ගැහුවාම දුවනවා. පන්දමක් ගන්නවා. පන්දමක් අරගෙන බයිනෝ ගහෙන් බිමට. මගේ වැට මේ ගියේ සම්පූර්ණ පෙරළුව බිමට. දෙපාරක් මම ගෙදර ගිහිල්ලා ඒ අවස්ථාවේ ගෙදර ඇතුලි එනකොට අලි පෙරලා ගිය ඇතුලි ඔක්කොම කුඩු කොල්ල කාලා පෙරලා කුඩු කොල්ල දාලා තුනි පාර ආපහු දෙවිනි හතර ඇත්ත ඇදුවා එක දාක් මට එළවගෙන ආවා අලි එක දාක් එළවගෙන එනකොට පන්දන් නැහැ දා පන්දන් නැති අතර ආයෙත් මම මෙතනින් පෑන්න මෙතනින් පෑන්න කරන්ට ඇටින් එහා පැතර ගියා පාර කරන්ට ඇටින් මෙතනින් ඇහිලා අර කණුව ඉගිලි ඉතින් අර අර පළු ගාට ගිහිල්ලා නැග්ගා ඒ පාරම Not everyone is lucky enough to tell others about their meeting with an aggressive elephant මම ගෙදර හිටියේ මහත්තය කුඹුරේ ගිහින් රැදුලා මාරට විතරා එනකොට අලියා බෙල්ලෙන් අල්ලලා පැත්තකට විසික් කරලා තිබ්බා. ඒ පාරේ කවුරුත් ඇවිල්ලා කිව්වම අපි ඉක්මන්ට ඇවිල්ලා බැලුවා. පොඩක් ඉතින් දුකක් හිතුණා. නැති වෙලා කියලා හිතුවේ නෑ. අර සුසුම් නාම කැඩිලා කියලා ඉතින් කිව්වම අපිට ඉතින් ගොලොකු දුකක් ඇතුන් අයිතු. 
එහෙම හිතුණා ඇත්තටම නැති වෙලා නැහැ කියලා මම ඇඟ පත ඔක්කොම අත කැවතු කොහෙවත් තුවාලයක් මුකුත්ම තිබ්බේ නැහැ ඩොක්ටර්ල කිව්වත් මම කොහ මට සැකයි කවුරු හරි ගහලා නැති කරලා දන්නේ නැහැ කියලා කිව්වා ඊට පස්සේ ඉතින් හැම තැනම අරගෙනත් ගියා ඉතින් දෙපාතමේ කිව්ව කපල ආත්මය දැන් ආයි එහෙනම් පොඩ්ඩක් තරහක් වෙලා වැඩ නැහැ ඉතින් අපි A big economic loss occurs for the farmers. When a parent dies, the lifestyle of the family changes and the children can't go to school anymore. Usually the father is the breadwinner. He works on the field and provides the money. Without a husband, the mother has to find ways to support the family. It's difficult in a land where women, according to men, mainly have the right to be in the kitchen. Meanwhile, more than five hours have passed in the burning heat. And the elephant mother is still laying exhausted on the ground. Time is pressing, for she is likely to get overheated by the sun. Fortunately, the men have some improvisational skills. With a canvas, logs and big branches, they create a roof over the elephant to protect her against the dehydrating effects of the sun. The diagnosis of the veterinarian comes down to an internal infection. The elephant receives strong antibiotics to fight off the infection from the inside out, and she can allow her muscles to recover. Despite all efforts, attention, antibiotics and many liters of fluid, there seems to be little progress. But the men refuse to give up. As nuchtere Europeaan, dan denk ik ja, een dier, zo'n groot dier, dat heeft geen schijn van kans meer. Alleen het verschil met ons, wij zeggen een een wonderspuit bestaan die dus laat de dieren in slapen. En wat hun visie, hun ongelooflijke opportunisme is, zolang die leeft is de hoop. Als die als die van 99, 19% dood is, nog altijd 1/10% hoop. She may stand. She hasn't given up, so he's still struggling, and we just support. It's so unbelievable, unusual that you help animals in the wild. In Western medicine, I should euthanize this animal in this situation, yeah. but in my culture, I never do. I have no right to yeah, 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 yeah. give up. Yeah. So I am the decision maker. So yeah, yeah. it personally affects me if I give up this case. It is that decision is the final decision. So I don't like to do that. So in that situation, I am happy to see that animal is living as far as possible. It is impossible for the baby elephant to stay alive without her mother. A young elephant will not survive if it does not get its milk within 24 to 48 hours. So the team has to take the little one out of the wilderness. Meanwhile, the transport to the elephant transit home finally arrives. Buddhism and culture, they both affect us and because you should not work for the salary. We should do work with the heart. We always getting sad about the animals, but uh, yeah, that's, we, we know we can 
we in our side we should do the what's the best for them uh, that's the major things going on The Elephant Transit Home was founded in 1995. At first, hardly anyone believed it would work out or that there would be any positive results. At this moment, 18 years later, the Transit Home has taken care of more than 200 baby elephants. These days, the orphanage takes care of 35 baby elephants. Although they are not related, they form a group like they do in the wild, herds. The new elephant gets acquainted with his new family. But still, he is wild and cannot accept that he is separated from his mother. To put him quickly at ease, he is getting a nice shower. Whether they are wild or tame, they all have one thing in common. They love water. Not until the whole flock is ready and the social structure is restored, that they are given back to nature as a group. When they have returned to the wild, most herds stay together for their entire lives. The new arrival has a long way to go. An exception to the rule are the disabled elephants who need more of a human touch, for they can probably never return to the wilderness. For the staff of the ETH, every elephant is special, so they cherish the memories of each animal. The elephants are often named after the place they were found, for example, Manar, named after the Manar district. An exception to the rule is Hercules. He was small and helpless when they found him, but very brave. The staff at the transit home immediately thought of a hero from Greek culture, Hercules. Because of his lame leg, the brave animal will never go back into the wild. In the same way, the new one gets a name too, Uda. If you go see the other three friends of Na Hercules, the three of them all are due to human elephant conflict. The little one, she is less than one year old, and so she should be with us almost four or five years with us. And other one, she is not good condition. When he found him, he got a fractured leg, and she is getting weak, can get fallen down. So we have to keep her another two years at least. Mag je al helemaal niet aanraken, joh. Je moet olifantje blijven, je moet niet zo gericht op mensen gaan. We hopen dat we in een leuke groep weer in de natuur terecht kunnen. En inderdaad nog een heleboel bezoekers naar Sri Lanka trekken. Onderdeel van een grote sociale kudde. We zijn er aardig genoeg voor. Ja, ik ben geen onderdeel van die sociale kudde. Maar de mensen hier zorgen wel dat dat uh, gaat lukken. Olifanten zijn altijd met elkaar bezig. Die hebben behoefte aan gezelschap. Die, die, die willen aangeraakt worden. Die willen op een olifantenmanier geknuffeld worden. Die willen, uh, uh, ze willen ruiken. Ze, ze, ze willen voelen. Dat, dat, dat is des olifants. En dat doen deze ook. Dus. Maar het is absoluut niet goed wat ik hier doe. Want die olifanten moeten niet gek... Ik ben wel gek op hun, dat mag. Maar zij moeten niet gek op mij worden. Want zij moeten een heel ander uh, leven gaan vormen. Je moet je wel realiseren dat dit dus heilige grond is. Hè? Dit is inderdaad een van die plekken in de wereld waar olifantjes als het ware gerehabiliteerd weer worden. En in, uh, op het ogenblik zijn er ik denk zo'n 35 olifantjes hier. Maar in de loop der jaren zijn er al enkele honderden geweest. En die hebben dus heel vaak over deze grond gelopen en die zijn weer teruggebracht naar de natuur. En dat is natuurlijk een geweldig streven. Yeah, on one way elephant is very innocent, on the other way it is majestic and it is very respectable animal. And even the, the best quality I always appreciate the elephant is they are not selfish. They always, uh, they are not uh, making trouble to the other animals. Very peaceful, they are not uh, hunting other animals, they are not chasing, they are not any, making any harm. They are always happy to share what they have with them. 
and so that quality is always bring our affection to the elephants. There's a whole philosophy behind the unique milking system devised by the ETH itself. Per day, the elephants drink 360 litres of milk. All 35 elephants get milk at preset times, even at night. The caretakers know exactly what the elephants are doing and where they are. The older elephants know when it's feeding time and take the young elephants back to the shelter. More importantly, by still giving the older elephants milk, they don't get jealous of the youngsters. Although you can see all the loving care the staff provide, they avoid any contact with the elephants, as much as they can anyway. The animals may not get used to the attention and care people provide, for when they are a few years older and strong enough, they will be brought back to nature. And that's when they are on their own. It's natuurlijk best een hele vreemde situatie. Je ziet hier al olifantjes op manshoogte achter mij doorlopen. En die krijgen allemaal nog melk. Maar dat is natuurlijk, dat is nou pure psychologie. En inderdaad de kennis en kunde van het Elephant Rensendroom. Dus stel je nou voor dat ze alleen die kleintjes melk zouden geven. Die grote vinden melk ook eigenlijk wel lekker. En nu laten ze de hele groep, die krijgen allemaal... En dit is denk erom dat die jongens die zijn zo bij de hand de olifantenverzorgers, die weten precies, de, krij de kleine krijgen wat meer en de grote die krijgen wat minder. Maar dan blijft wel dat hele groepsgebeuren. In de veiligheid van de groep krijgen ze melk en ze kunnen, te, en ze kunnen tot, ook, tot, tot op de laatste dag dat ze op transport teruggaan naar het wild, kunnen ze eventueel wat in de melk toedienen waar ze allemaal niks voor hoeven te doen. Dus alles gaat in een normaal ritme. In de jungle gaat ook alles in een normaal ritme. Als het warm wordt, dan gaan ze met z'n allen gaan ze naar het meer, nemen ze een modderbad of ze gaan drinken. En dat doen ze. Ze doen eigenlijk alles wat, wat zeg maar, in, die, in, de, in die hele levenslijn van de olifanten in de natuur gebeurt. Dat doen ze hier ook na. Maar dat is natuurlijk wel een beetje kunstmatig, maar wel voor het welzijn van de olifant. The men return to the wounded elephant mother. She has been laying there for 10 hours without any real progress. The medicines haven't worked so far. Night falls quickly and the risk of being attacked by elephants is still a permanent threat. However, the men continue working fearless and haven't lost their trust in this case. Mayo is becoming more pessimistic by the minute. Nou, ik denk als hij opstaat, als ze het voor elkaar krijgen, dan doet hij drie stappen en dan valt hij weer. Daar ziet het naar uit. Uh, dit is ook zo'n onnatuurlijke houding van olifant. Maar het dier is kapot. Kapot gewoon van... Hij heeft tien uur hier liggen martelen. Ze proberen het onmogelijk. Als die overeind komt, de olifant is natuurlijk helemaal onder, uh, onder de stress en de spanning. Hij weet absoluut niet waar hij naartoe rent. Hij maakt ook uh, op dit moment geen enkel onderscheid tussen goed en kwaad. Het dier blijft gewoon nog levensgevaarlijk, maar die mannen zijn zulke ongelooflijke opportunisten. Die denken ze kunnen nog steeds wegspringen. <tie> The vet decides to cease the rescue mission for now. 
Due to nightfall, it's too dangerous and irresponsible to continue. Tomorrow is a new day, but the question if the sick elephant will survive remains. It's early in the morning and Mayo and the veterinarian are on the road again. En route to the elephant, they hope to see a little miracle and the animal is still alive. Unfortunately, she did not survive. But how's it going with the new guy, Uda? Just like it's hard for people, it's a traumatic experience for a little elephant to live on without its mother. It's very important that Uda connects with the herd and starts drinking milk. It's feeding time in the transit home, but Uda still has to habituate. He doesn't like it at all. On their way to the wildlife park, they stop at Sri Lanka's most determined elephant, Rambo. A lonesome bull, emitted by his herd because he couldn't keep his hands off his sisters and aunts. Several years ago, there were dozens of elephants begging on the side of the road. Because dangerous situations arose, electric fences were placed along the road. However, Rambo is a clever elephant and the only one who gets through very regularly. He has no fear of humans and likes to be fed. But in the night, he also destroys paddy fields and farmers' plantations. Due to that determined action, Rambo received bullet wounds in his belly and jaw. Rambo isn't only a local tourist attraction, but also a symbol of the human-elephant conflict. He's the first one who came to the fence and he started this uh, accepting of human food. Do you have any idea of his age? He should be uh, now nearly 50 years now. 50 years? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. So he's an old animal now. Yeah, yeah. Last week also he, he attacked one person. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, because he thought that one man was actually a drunken man. Yeah. But he gave some food and then he go to very close to and touch him because inside the fence. Oh. Outside the fence, he always respects the people, yeah, but yeah. inside he's not happy yeah, yeah, to yeah, yeah, yeah. people, so... And then they then change the behavior in the split of a second, eh? Yeah, yeah, otherwise it was the... He only got the broken leg, that oh. guy. He was lucky, eh? Yeah, yeah. Why do you call him Rambo? American hero. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think that he knows that he is called Rambo? He knows. He knows? Yeah. yeah. Rambo, Rambo. That's what I always notice. Sri Lanka people, most of them, if they don't uh, destroy the paddy fields, they love elephants. Yeah, the, the, yeah. Even if you see some animals who go to the village and make a lot of destruction, yeah. So they damage the properties or even kill the people. When they get in trouble, those are the people who are coming front and help him. Yeah, 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 yeah. So even they are giving us call and come and help these animals in trouble like that day. In one way, it is uncontrollable. Yeah. Because some, some animals, they used to come out from the fence and go to the village and search in the same yeah, pool. Yeah, yeah, and that causes... That make trouble. That's how Rambo ran into trouble several times. The vet has sedated him before to surgically remove a few bullets. The ball does eat out of your hand, but still, it is an unpredictable animal. Four months ago, Rambo suddenly disappeared. He stopped coming into the pens and pens, and then we found that there are some maybe some problem, and then we found that it was on that corner in the. All the time it was in the water. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One problem is the flies making trouble to him, other yeah, things irritating, yeah, yeah. the weight making trouble to him. So he found that what is the best place to get. There were nine uh, parrot shots there. Even now also you can count yeah, the yeah, number. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nine, but there only we could remove three. Because others are oh, in, 
more inside. In that situation, he, can't, he reluctant to walk. Even he, is not, he has no interest on in food even at that time. So at that time, what we did is we brought three, four hundred kilos of sugar cane to his, his, his place. And we put there in the evening, he comes up and out and eating very slowly. And then again, go back to the... Some cases, we, many cases, we get failed because the animals we find that with the very big trouble if it is gunshot wound, go to the bones and in that situation it is very difficult. But if the shot is limited to the muscles, mm -hmm. the pro prognosis is very good. Yes. He, he, he did not get yet his medication? Huh? Now we are going to give. We have to make it uh, yeah. away, away from him because if he see that we are doing putting something, oh, yeah, yes, he's yes. not happy to help. May I say, hey, he is then more clever than the original Rambo. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> He know if if if, if, if yeah, he see yeah, that yeah, we yeah. have to put in something, he never accept. He says, "Oh no, no." They can smell. Yeah, that's the thing. They are so unbelievable clever. Yeah, yeah. What we something what we trying to do if they don't want to uh, receive the pills, mm -hmm. then we give them a few hours no water. Ah, oh, they are. They then they, they, they must kind of laminate, <laughs> and mm. then you can put the. Uh, but here the elephants are just as clever. Okay, we'll try. You try. Okay. Okay, sometimes you... If it doesn't work, it's not my fault. Eh? He may believe you than me. <laughs> you know, we always doing some funny things to him. <laughs> Rambo, I have something for you. Rambo, for your own wellness. All the pills are gone. <laughs> oh, <that's lucky. To solve the human-elephant conflict, people eagerly search for all kinds of solutions. The placing of electric fences is one of them. But that doesn't always work. In wezen biedt de jungle genoeg voedsel, maar het is zo verleidelijk om een appeltje van de kaart te pakken. En dat doen die olifanten ook, omdat ze zo intelligent zijn. En die hebben wel in de gaten die fensen die die arme boeren neerzetten met, met een systeem van een draadje en een, en een wankel flesje en een keer van bovenuit het boe 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 roepen. Dan denken die olifanten de derde keer van... Dag. Dus die lopen rustig door. Die boer die beschermt, die heeft echt met zijn poten in de modder gestaan. Maanden om dat opgegroeid te krijgen. En dan komt er zo'n lamblendig dier, zo'n grote slurfeter. Die, die komt daar naartoe en die, uh, en die, die, eet, je, die, die, die eet je oogst op. De, de, en nog een keer dan probeer je hem weg te jagen en dan vernielt hij je huis. Dat kan ik me heel, heel goed voorstellen. Zo'n man haat olifant. Eerst hadden we dus palen met een uh, elektrische draden. Maar nu hebben we ook door een heel simpel en goedkoop systeem, hebben we ook de paal onder stroom gezet. Want als kon die olifant de onderkant van die paal pakken en dan was die paal weer kapot, kon die er toch weer door. En dat hebben we nu ook weer allemaal opgelost en, en zo leer je daar steeds meer van. Good research in this case is very important. For example, where should you place an entrance? Elephants want to keep following their ancient paths. When an electric fence is placed, the elephants exhibit signs of stress. The herd will do anything to destroy the fence in one way or another. Without any proper regulation, it will not work. Otherwise, the elephant will find its way through. 
with intensive collaboration with the local inhabitants, with respect for the people, the natural ways of the elephant and good scientific research, one tries to diminish the conflict between elephant and human. However, there's still a lot to do before there are fences everywhere. By that time, we will be thousands of meters of wires further on. But that doesn't stop Mayo to try everything to minimize the conflict together with the people. Hey, wait a minute, do you see some steps? This must be a rather good, big one. That's what we call silent witnesses. <laughs> yes. You see the dung, you see the prints. Yes, yes. And sometimes when the, the, the dung is very fresh, you can smell them. And yes. That are be better witnesses than a broken fence. Eh? Yeah. If you have a broken fence, that's a bad witness. Oh, you have a very bad piece, but this one is okay. We can put it a little bit to that side. You had to turn it that side, and I had to turn it on this side. <coughs> so, how many uh, kilometers uh, do we have now in total of this fence? Four and a half. Four and a half kilometers. Jesus. Of het plaatsen van scheepdraad alleen het hele human elephant conflict uh, oplost, dat geloof ik niet. Je kunt geen 7000 kilometer elektrisch uh, scheepdraad door heel Sri Lanka spannen. Maar het draagt bij, het helpt. En al die dingen die helpen als er maar weer een, een, een groot aantal boeren rustig kunnen slapen. Als mensen niet gedood worden door olifanten. Als mensen geen olifanten hoeven doden. We, we, we lossen in Nederland ook de verkeersdoden lossen we niet op. Maar we kunnen wel door voorzieningen en dergelijke. Het, is, het, het punt is altijd van... Het makkelijkste is om te zeggen het is een probleem, laat maar. Het is uh, ver van mijn bed, show. Zo vind ik dat je niet moet werken. Yep. Oké, okay, dat is fijn. Zo, so we kunnen dit doen. Oké, we deden een great job. Yeah. <laughs> Regularly, Mario en de vet gaan naar het park voor research. Ze willen weten waar de elefanten zijn die in het huis zijn gebracht en hebben been brought back in het wild. Via een GPS-systeem dat is connected to een collar, die geeft signals aan de antenna. The movements of the animals can be followed. They're being surrounded by aggressive elephants, but that's exactly what they're not looking for. Die, uh, die olifantenbult tegen die redelijk aan het doorstappen was. En dat is eigenlijk wel vreemd, zo op het midden van de dag. Maar toen wisten we nog niet dat deze jonge man eraan kwam. Die was in het begin van de must. En als ze in de must zijn, dan zijn ze wat dominant. En de klieren begonnen te tranen, maar hij was nog niet zo ver een must dat hij ook zeg maar, zijn penis uitschacht en dan constant ook weer aan het plassen gaat. Maar je zag duidelijk even dat hier even die vrouwtjes controleerde. Is er iemand in de vruchtbare periode? En een van de vrouwtjes die reageerde met, uh, met urineren. En nou, uh, nou loop je weer verder. Maar je kunt er aan het zijn dat die andere bul was bang voor zijn gedrag. En daarom liep hij zo snel. En je kunt ook aan het hele gedrag zien van die bul nou ook. Die loopt met de kop omhoog en heel statig zo van... Niemand loopt mij in de weg. Dan in, in contrast met het feit dat we praten over het human elephant conflict. Waardoor uh, ja, mensen door olifanten gedood worden, olifanten door mensen gedood worden. En dan zie je hier in, in dit, hier in zo'n national park, als je die olifanten dan helemaal zeg maar, in hun waarde laat, in hun eigen dominantie. Dan kun je er op een aantal meters stijlen vandaan, ook de gedragsregels in, orde, uh, in de gaten houden. Ik bedoel, als de olifant zich opwindt of boos wordt. Dan, uh, dan moet je inderdaad ook zoveel respect voor hem hebben dat je dan uh, een eindje verder uh, rijdt, uh, verdwijnt. Maar, hij, uh, maar zolang hij uh, bepaalt wat er gebeurt, dan, uh, dan zie je zijn heel natuurlijk gedrag. At this moment there are 14 elephants who can be traced by the GPS system. Although the animals are gigantic, they are difficult to spot in a dense wood.
Even wachten op de kleine. Kijk, een veilige situatie rondom. Rondom ingepakt. En nu verder. Weet je wat er nu gebeurde? Ze wilden net oversteken, maar ze staken niet over. Er lag hoogstwaarschijnlijk een greppen langs het bos. En het was voor die kleine wat onveilig. Dus die lopen ze een meter of twintig verder. En daar steken ze dan over. Dan is dat veilig voor die kleine. En trouwens, wat een hele bijzondere bijkomstigheid is. Eigenlijk vechten olifanten vrouwtjes, die vechten nooit. Maar dat heeft er ook mee te maken dat natuurlijk olifanten leven in familiegroepen. En uiteindelijk, zeg maar, als er een meisje in de groep geboren wordt, dat blijft haar hele leven zeg maar, in die groep. De mannen, als die een jaar of acht, negen zijn en die, hebben wat, die krijgen wat belangstelling voor het andere geslacht, dan worden ze de groep uitgezet. En dan blijven die vrouwen die blijven een, een hele leven in die groep. Maar wat wel gebeurt, als zo'n groep nou te veel wordt, dan gaan ze wat ze noemen horizontaal splitsen. Bij wijze van spreken de twee oudsten. De, de, je hebt altijd de matriarch, daar blijft een gedeelte bij. En dan de tweede oudste in de groep, die scheidt zich langzamerhand van die groep af. En die, die gaan dan ook hun eigen leven leiden. Maar wel altijd met de wijsheid wat ze van elkaar allemaal in de groep geleerd hebben. En er is juist omdat er geen vervelende ventjes in de groep zijn, is er ook altijd vrede. At the highest point, they hope to catch some signals of the former orphan elephants. And this means now it's about Two or three hundred meters away. Yeah, yeah, about maybe one kilometer away. One kilometer away. Yeah. Until one kilometer, you can uh, search. It. Yeah, sometimes it goes two or three kilometers. After a long search, they're suddenly face to face with a group from the transit home. The remarkable thing is that the whole herd, independently from each other, have been released over a period of three years. Meanwhile, they have found each other. They form a close herd, where even baby elephants have been born. And then the expression, nature gives rest, is also not so strange. Als je dit genoegen mag smaken, om dit zo in je ogen voorbij te zien trekken, ja, dan gebeuren er toch wel een hoop dingen in de wereld die, uh, die een stuk moeilijker zijn. It just doesn't stop. Another call is answered. This time it's a farmer who found an elephant at the side of the road. It's a calf, and it looks like she's down to her last breath. It's a life-threatening situation. Where there's a calf, there's a mother around. She will do anything to protect her child, so everyone is watchful. It may not take long. It's important to get the elephant in the ETH as quickly as possible. One thing is certain, the weakened calf won't survive in the wild. 
She doesn't have very good body condition. The body condition is poor. The baby elephant seems to show more sign of life due to the strong medication. An alarmed farmer takes care of the transportation. The journey to the transit home has begun. We can see the conflict is not stopped or it is not stable. It is day by day, it is intensified. If we have more facilities, we can do more for the elephants. Not, like, not only from here, even in the field. After an exhausting two hour trip, as well for the calf as for her saviors, they arrive at the elephant foster home. The little calf is in such a bad state that she can hardly stand on her feet. That's why they put her in the water, so she can perform some physical activity. The little one is cooling down and gets rid of the annoying flies on its skin. She already feels much better and sees an opportunity in attacking one of her rescuers. My big boy. Hij keert ze de rug toe, in dit geval de kont toe. Dat is een teken van onderdanigheid. En het enige wat ze gaan doen aan alle kanten staan aan hem te ruiken. Geen enkele vorm van agressie. Ik kom hem allemaal even goede dag zeggen. Ja, pst, 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 pst. Nee, eh, 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 Daar blijven. De olifanten hebben normaal olifantengedrag. En in deze hele groep zijn ze zelf al kleine groepjes aan het vormen. We hebben schitterende voorbeelden in het park gezien dat allemaal olifanten van verschillende lichtingen, dus in de verschillende jaren teruggebracht zijn, hebben we gezien aan die collars. En, door de, en al die olifanten, die herkennen elkaar ook weer van de tijd van hier, die, die hebben zelf weer een familiegroep geworden en die hebben zelf al jongen. Dus ik bedoel, of het een, een goed idee is en een goed product, daar kun je 100% van op aan, want de bewijzen zijn al in het wild. They are in this age, they are very uh, connected to people. Eh? Yeah, this age, they are. Because they adhere to the yeah. person who is providing the food for them. Yeah. 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 
now you see also the natural behavior. They, they, mm. they follow the mother. Eh? Yeah. Now in this case, the, the keeper is the mother, and that's. Uh, They are in your, your penny now in a good condition. They are stable and now. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. That's okay. It's okay, little boy. It's okay. Mario, as a real elephant expert and former caretaker, can't resist the temptation to help, and so enters the water to join him. Ik vind dat uh, dat natuurlijk nooit zo mag zijn dat als we nou straks uh, 30 of 40 jaar verder zijn en dat de laatste olifanten ooit opgezet in een dierenpark staan. Wij moeten met z'n allen voor zorgen. Dat onze kindskinderen nog dit soort aanblikken, uh, olifanten in het wild, olifanten in kuddeverband, olifanten op een natuurlijke wijze opgroeien, dat dat nog steeds gewaarborgd blijft. Er gebeuren hier fantastische dingen, maar je moet je eigenlijk wel realiseren, en, en, en dat vind ik weer in en in triest. Het is eigenlijk zo, hier is een, een redelijk tot goede accommodatie. Maar die olifantjes die verongelukken niet alleen hier. Het merendeel van de problemen speelt zich af 150, 200 kilometer hier vandaan. Eén op de drie sterft daar al omdat er geen accommodatie, geen hulpmiddelen zijn, helemaal niets. En als we daar nou een eerste hulppost zouden kunnen krijgen... en dat we daar van die één op de drie die ook mee kunnen redden... dat zet echt zo aan de dijk. Dus we willen daar een post hebben.